The peace efforts for Afghanistan is about the future of Afghanistan, about the future of Afghan people. So what is most important is that the future course is decided by the Afghan people themselves. For that purpose, the talks between Taliban and the Afghan people representing the current Afghan Republic need to take place as the main way of talking about peace. All the international efforts, including that of the United States, has had the ultimate aim of realizing the uh, negotiation between the Afghan people. And the United Nations has been part of the process all along. Uh, it is true that the, because uh, the Taliban wanted to talk to the United States, the US Taliban talks uh, got the most limelight. But their efforts were not standalone. And it was uh, the culmination of the efforts of the international community. And now that the uh, US Taliban effort seemed to have been put on hold, uh, we now have perhaps a more role to play in trying to ensure that the future talks, direct talks between Taliban and the uh, Republic of Afghanistan actually takes place. Afghanistan has, uh, of course, uh, uh, grown in, in its efforts to develop its democratic representative political system for the past 18 years. At first, the international community, particularly the United Nations, actually held the uh, elections for them. But now, they are at the stage when they hold the elections on their own with their responsibility. This time, what we have done is to try to ensure that the technical aspects of elections, uh, maybe they're boring, but you know, things like preparing the voters list, you know, who are to vote in one polling stations, had been well ascertained and have been vetted. They are going to be utilizing uh, uh, biometric technology, and we have helped together with Germany to ensure that that technology can be utilized well. We have also uh, made sure that uh, Afghan experts receive the expert advice and help from the UN experts. And we have 160 experts working in Afghanistan. We, uh, if you like, the real advisors, the real sort of uh, resource for expertise about enabling the Afghans to do this work. We know how much the Afghan people want to safeguard the gains of the past 18 years. We talk to them all the time. And at the same time, we talk to Taliban on these issues, including human rights and other issues. So not only can we try to help the uh, Afghan people who want to protect their gains, but also to the, to the Taliban to tell them how important it is for the Afghan people that these gains are actually kept. We are working with all the um, parties concerned who cause civilian casualties to try to remedy their way they actually conduct uh, their operations. Um, you know that we have every year uh, civilian casualty report where we rigorously uh, record the number of casualties in Afghanistan. And every time we have these numbers, we come out publicly to Taliban, to the Afghan national forces, to the international forces. We make specific recommendations. We also explain that deliberately targeting civilians is not only simply against the international humanitarian law, but it is a war crime. War crime is a serious matter. Even if the peace came, it may be that those people who committed war crime may not get the amnesty. The Taliban has now 
completely adopted the basic policy that civilian casualties should not be there. They have instructed their commanders to avoid civilian casualties if they can. Afghan government has made tremendous efforts in ensuring that the military operations produce as little civilian casualties as possible. Once this happens, then the investigation takes place and those who are responsible are held accountable. The same with the international forces. We are asking them to change the way in which they conduct their operations, if civilians are there, to not attack. And so these are having real impact, but still too many people uh, die from this conflict. And so that's why there is all the more need for the peace process to really take roots and only peace can bring the end to civilian casualties in Afghanistan.